The following is an ESG video brief. Hi, I'm Jason Buffington, Senior Analyst at ESG covering data protection. One of the more interesting shifts in data protection over the past few years has been the increased involvement by workload owners in how data protection is accomplished. One of the best examples of this is the database administrator, the DBA, and their long-standing influence in how databases are protected and recovered. In ESG's data protection personas and methods research, we see that DBAs are involved in every aspect of the data protection lifecycle. 65% of organizations stated that their DBAs are involved in the database restore process and the monitoring of database protection processes. In fact, over half of organizations stated their DBAs were involved in almost every aspect of database protection, including configuring the backup schedules, influencing the choice of data protection technologies, and defining the database retention criteria. Now, this follows the same trend that vAdmins and file and storage admins are also showing that workload and platform owners who are responsible for the productivity and availability of their platforms are demanding and getting a greater amount of influence and involvement in how those platforms are protected and recovered. If you were responsible for a data platform, wouldn't you want to ensure its adequate protection and reliability? Especially since you presumably have unique insights as to how and which data should be protected. Speaking of how the data should be protected, we see several different methods being applied to database protection. The blue lines show that several methods are in use, including traditional backups, snapshots, database-specific methods, with each being used somewhere within at least half of all environments, based on the unique requirements of those databases or their environmental constraints. When we look at the primary methods in use today, 28% of organizations leverage backup mechanisms, either within each OS or within virtual machine-centric backups. 16% use storage-based snapshots, and those are typically good for rapid rollback in the short term, but not for longer-term data retention. 56% utilize database-specific mechanisms, dumping their databases to whichever storage systems are available to the DBA. That's twice as many folks using database methods compared to traditional backups. The good news is that those databases are protected by one method or another. But the bad news is the disconnect between the DBA and the backup administrator or data protection specialist. Remember, those databases are corporate data and therefore should be protected to whatever the corporate standard is for retention, for copies, etc. And that is where Veritas Net Backup Copilot for Oracle comes in. It runs within a Veritas Net Backup server appliance and, quite frankly, builds a bridge between what the DBAs are doing with database dumps and what the data protection specialist is doing in backups. Specifically, the Veritas solution offers up storage for the Oracle DBR man utilities for them to use for their database dumps, just like they always have. But then, and this is really cool, Net Backup ingests the data from that simple storage into its catalog so that Net Backup can restore from those points over time. And then, and I love this, Veritas does the reverse. It amends the RMAN catalog that the DBA is using with the points in time that are recoverable from the Net Backup backup storage pool. Both sets of folks get exactly what they want. DBAs use their own utilities, coupled with a simple file share that they don't have to manage, but all of a sudden, they have more recoverable points to work with. Backup admins use their normal net backup platform, but now they have all the copies of short and long-term retention for their recovery goals so that they can ensure the database is protected to corporate standards. It really is that simple. If the status quo or the problem statement is that DBAs may be making copies of their databases on the only storage they have access to, that expensive primary production storage systems, then here is an evolutionary journey to consider. A good alternative would be to provide simple storage that isn't as expensive as primary production storage for the DBA to dump to. A better alternative would be to provide centralized and deduplicated storage for those DBAs to protect to. And this is a very solid way to reduce costs and to consolidate the islands of data protection storage that exist when different workload owners want to or need to do their own thing. 
The only downside, if there is one, with centralized deduplicated storage is that that's all it is, it's storage. The protection and recovery processes must still be done only by the original application or utility that put that data in there. And that's what Copilot does differently. It builds upon that centralized storage concept, still optimizes CapEx using deduplication or compression, and then adds management of the data so that you can recover it, retain it, and use it in different ways than how it was originally ingested through net backup. I have to say, Veritas Copilot is one of the coolest data protection ideas that I saw in 2015. And the initial test results from ESG's lab validation of Copilot give some great insights on it. It is certainly on the leading edge of what truly revolutionary data protection looks like and something that many folks are probably going to eventually say, why doesn't everybody do that? I'm Jason Buffington for ESG. Thanks for watching.